You know this by now. For an entire year, NBC4 has followed Courtney's journey, an inside look at a personal battle with a rare blood cancer. Courtney Hodges was very open and honest with me, allowing you to share those moments as well. Despite being told that she couldn't have children, Courtney and her husband Nick were blessed recently with a beautiful baby boy. And in today's Sunday chat, we introduce all of you to baby Paxson. Courtney, can you believe it after everything? No, I still want to pinch myself. I can't believe that I am worthy enough to have this little one. When you look at your son's face and you see him, it's truly a miracle. Oh my gosh, it's the epitome of a miracle. When you think of a miracle, this is what it is. This is, they said that it was impossible. If I would have listened to them a year ago, I would be on chemo every day and this wouldn't be, it's just amazing the paths that we have and that we take and, and going with gut and God led to this and he's amazing. This little man is my hero. He, he made the impossible possible. They're amazed at every, every test that he takes. He aces it perfectly with health and, and there's no problems with him whatsoever. He is the healthiest baby. My cancer is not genetic, so we knew that he wasn't going to get that. But, um, so how are you? I'm good. I've never felt this good in my life. Dr. Jenkins and Dr. Ruderick both said that I look healthier than I did when I first came in there. I'm, it's, and they said that this was completely opposite from what was supposed to happen. They said that, like, in all the case studies, and the Mayo, they said that my counts would skyrocket at first, second, third trimester, and they've gone down from two million to 374,000. I'm almost normal. I'm almost like normal people with my platelets right now, which is incredible. It doesn't mean the cancer's going away or gone away, but it does mean that my time here could be a very long, very, very long, very long time. And that could have been, I mean, freakishly, miraculously due to him. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just on cloud nine. This is the best I've ever felt and the happiest I've ever been with cancer and without. When you believe in the impossible, the impossible believes in you. Uh, there are paths that you take in life. And it's really important when you get to that crossroads, no matter who tells you what path to go on, no matter if it's society, doctors, teachers, peers, bosses, you have to listen to your heart and your gut. People are just people. But there's something inside us that tells us which way to go. And if you're in tune with that, you will never go astray. And it is scary. I made some of the scariest decisions of my life this year that could have ended my life a lot sooner. And everybody said that they would have ended my life a lot sooner. But right now, it's going against everything that they said because I listened to my heart and my gut, and I went on a path less traveled, untraveled.